Uh, Richmond uh, was a very good opponent. Uh, well coached discipline football team, uh, playoff team. Uh, win eight games every year. And um, that game was a test to let us know where we were. Um, you know, the first week of uh, the D2 team, we didn't really know. So uh, it was a true test of where we are, uh, where we stack up against uh, FCS opponents. And uh, um, we know we could play with anybody because Richmond is a playoff team every year. And uh, uh, we, we played with them uh, step for step. Uh, they just made uh, one more play than we did last week. Uh, so that's a lot of give our guys a lot of confidence in knowing that uh, we can play with anybody in the FCS football. All right. Any questions about last week? Did you, uh, first play of the game, uh, the, the pass that um, Mixon threw, had that been something that you would have been planning to do all week? Uh, well, it was, it was in the uh, game plan. It's always there. Um, but, you know, I was, uh, to be honest with you, I was prepared. I was uh, thinking in my mind, uh, if we get a turnover here uh, coming out, what am I going to run? And uh, I said, uh, if we get on the left hash, I'm going uh, to run the pass when mixing like he's going to run and throw it. And so uh, once, once Key intercepted and ran it back, I knew exactly what I was going to run. So, um, but we ran outside zone on them last year, and those guys are, are aggressive, so we, we kind of figured it would be there, and it was. I guess a lot of people don't know he was a quarterback in high school. Right, they don't. I mean, they don't, and, and, but everybody in America runs that play and, and runs the jet sweep with it. So it's just natural for you to come up. And so, um, you know, even though people know Mixon can throw it, It'll work again. If they stay back, we run it. Defense played uh, really well in the first half. Um, the second half, they seemed to get that running game going a little bit. Um, it, was it a matter? Of did did the kids get tired or anything? Or what do you, what do you think was the difference in the second half? Uh, I'm not quite sure. You know, they kind of they ran a little bit more in the second half, but we kind of stayed on the field. I think. Uh, the time of possession maybe was uh, six. They might have had it maybe uh, 19 minutes the second half, something like that, and we only had 11. So uh, that probably was the difference. Um, you know, you just, you know, you, you want to be able to stop people, but if, if you stay out there too long and kind of get wore down and, and all they're doing is uh, running the ball on you, kind of wears you down just a little bit. So we might have got a little fatigued, and that might have played a part in it. And then we, and we missed some tackles. You know, on third down, a couple third down runs, uh, they was able to uh, break some tackles or we missed tackles and they was able to get first down. So that always helped. Um, and then we had a penalty to keep a drive live. Um, so, you know, and then, you know, right before the half, uh, you know, I think the second quarter was seven minutes apiece, but I think they might have had it for like the last five minutes of the half. They had a couple of penalties and, and things to keep drive going there also. So that kind of played a part in it too. How much did that weather delay at halftime mess things up in terms of planning? Or, and what did you guys do to keep the team kind of focused on having during such a long delay? Well, it was a longer delay. You know, the guys just stayed in the locker room and, uh, and uh, drunk some Gatorade, ate some bananas and things. But um, I, I really don't know how it affected the team because it's hearsay. You know, it's my opinion. And uh, all I know is it was a longer break than normal. We had the momentum. Uh, it kind of you know, some people say it kind of gave them an opportunity to regroup, settle down, uh, and uh, so I don't know. I don't know. I can't answer that question, to be honest with you. So looking at your stats here, um, you got three turnovers that year. They were all in the first game, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're five of six in red zone touchdowns. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's very early, but Obviously, those are promising numbers, I would assume. Yes, sir. That was one of our weaknesses last year, the red zone. We talked about it, um, being more efficient in the red zone, getting touchdowns, scoring when we get opportunities. And uh, we've been doing that so far this year. Um, uh, like I say, it's five out of six. It was three for three last game, two for three the first game. So uh, we made a conscious effort to uh, work on that, and uh, so far it's paid off. We just got to get in the red zone a little bit more. I remember you told me this on Saturday, but um, what was your practice schedule? Did you do anything Sunday? Just no. No, we didn't do anything Sunday. And then Monday? Did you Monday morning, Tuesday morning, and this morning. So obviously it's a, it's a little it's a different situation than that you lose a day of prep uh, for this game. Uh, how, how do you 
try to compensate for that? Do you make the practices any longer? Or? No, no, we went with the uh, same schedule. We actually only went full one day instead of going two days. And, uh, you know, uh, they, they play Saturday, we play Saturday. And they play Friday, we play Friday. So it's all equal. There's no advantage for us, no advantage for them. It's just how you're gonna, how you're gonna use your time. What's it mean for you guys for this program, you know, to get a to get a national TV game? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it means a lot for the exposure for our, our our conference and our and our program, and for our guys to play on national TV and uh, and represent uh, Hampton University and the MEAC at a high level. Um, you know, everybody in America will be watching this Friday night. I don't know if it's another football game on. It may be, but uh, it'll be a lot of people watching us. All their peers will be watching them, and um, you know, everybody will be trying to get a little sneak peek on how Hampton and, and how it looks. So, uh, you know, they got to perform. You ever played or coached in RFK before? No, I haven't. Uh, sure haven't. Your maiden voyage there, sir. Yes, sir, it will be. Be my uh, first victory there. One of the uh, positives that came out of the Richmond game, I thought, was uh, kept Watford's jersey clean again. There's been no sacks given up this year. You can talk about the offensive line and how they performed so far in the two games. Yeah, uh, you know, so far in the passing game, they're performing excellent. Uh, you know, I, I, he got hit a couple times last game um, in a couple of hurries, but no sacks and uh, none in the first game. And I think he's right at around 600 yards for the year and seven touchdown passes. And offensively, we've scored eight touchdowns, all on passing, or nine. He got eight and we got nine total, all passing. So we got to uh, toughen it up a little bit and, and uh, play a little smash mouth and uh, start running some balls in. But it ain't like we've been throwing touchdowns from the one, two yard line. We've been scoring from out at distance. So um, once we get inside the red, the 10 yard line, five yard line, we were run the ball um, to try to score. What's your uh, evaluation of Howard to what you've seen in the film? Well, uh, I know they, they're not going to quit. They play hard. And, you know, they was overmatched. You know, they, they've been overmatched the first two games. It's a no-brainer. Um, they played uh, uh, F, FBS football programs and good FBS football programs. And, you know, those guys got 85 scholarships, and Howard probably got 63. And so they was overmatched, and uh, it showed. Uh, but you know now they got a FCS football opponent, a conference opponent, just like them, and they beat us the last four years, I think. And so uh, they got confidence playing us and, and playing FC, FCS football programs and MEAC teams. They have confidence, and they got confidence they beat us the last four years. So we expect those guys to come out with confidence, playing hard, ready to play, and expecting them to win. I guess that game last year was one of probably th three or maybe four that probably could have gone your way with a play or two here and there. Um, what, what, was, what was it in that game that kept you guys from winning? Um, we didn't execute down the stretch, uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, we threw a pick in the uh, third quarter that uh, gave them the momentum. They went down and scored. Then we did a three and out. They went down and scored again. So the momentum switched, and we were trying to hold it off. and. Uh, we got the ball down in, in the red zone a couple of times and, and couldn't get it in. And, you know, that was one of our problems last year. We just didn't execute very well down there. We got a holding penalty down there one time. Uh, they got us backed up and put us in a bad situation and then uh, ran a couple of plays and we missed the hole. The hole was there and we kind of went outside and the hole was inside. So uh, we just didn't execute very well down the stretch. Uh, and then the defense got wore down a little bit because they were on the field a little bit and they just start pounding us. and. Uh, they came back and beat us. So we got to uh, finish. We got to do a better job of playing uh, in the third and fourth quarter and playing for 60 minutes. How big of a, I can ask the players this later too, but how big of a rivalry is, is the Howard series? You've got Norman State, obviously, the big rival, but this is the real HU, I guess you call it. Yeah, yeah, it's the battle of the uh, real HU, they say. Uh, you know, and I, I always tell them, it's not the battle of the real HU, it's the battle of the best HU. Both of us are real HUs. They, they Howard University. And we have the university. We both are real HUs. It's the battle of the best HU. And uh, that's us. So um, I, I think it's a big rivalry. It's, it's, uh, I don't know which one's the biggest, Norfolk or, or this game. Um, but both of them are, are big time rivalry games for us. And the guys 
And, you know, they don't need me to give them a rah-rah speech to play Howard on a Friday night on national TV in front of all their peers in an NFL stadium. Right. So I ain't going to say nothing this week, but uh, let's go. Let's eat. Right, yeah, we've got Norfolk after that. Uh, we, we haven't really looked at Norfolk a lot. You know, we take them one game at a time, so we got to get this one. It's the first conference game, so we definitely got to get this game. And it's a, we got a long week, so we got time to look at Norfolk. We got to take care of Howard. Right. Any other questions? Come on. Thank you.